I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints. The purpose is to make quick decisions during the Charleston. If you can train yourself to make quick decisions, you could play comfortably online or maybe even play in a tournament without breaking a sweat. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do three sprints. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. No multiples, we have flower south, one, two, four, seven, eight, two, three in dots, two, six, seven, eight. I think a two, four, six, eight is the predominant pattern. That's where we're gonna start until we form a multiple. Let's pass south, three, seven. Break up those suits. Flower, no, let's see, let's do one of each suit. We're looking for two, four, six, eight. There's a four. First multiple, green dragon. We might be able to use it. We have a pair of flowers though, so probably not. We'll pass these. No, no evens. Even, four. Now we have to dig in. I'm thinking the concealed hand. Let's let these go here, right here. Four bam. Well, that doesn't really help us much. We want, if we're playing the evens or a pair hand, we don't need fours. We need pairs of eights. No keepers. I probably wouldn't pass two dragons. Optional. Lap. We got a four back. And I would keep all evens. So I would play the concealed hand probably. Two, four, really it would look like this. So we would have four discards. That's not bad for a Charleston result. Pair of flowers, two, four, eight, two, four, six, eight. We need to build up our eights and we have a joker. So those would be discards, but I would not pick a hand until we run out of discards. I would keep all two, four, six, eight. When we run out of discards, then I would drill down, release more discards, and then pick a hand when I have to. This would be a concealed hand, unless we were to switch to two, four, six, eight in one suit, which is possible. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write sprint one and what you would do. Flower, Pung of Dragons, Pair of Eights, that's where I would start the eight. Maybe we could do two, four, six, eight in mixed suits with dragons. Let's keep the eight. Maybe we could do like numbers with eights. Okay, we got a two. We really don't, I don't think I would keep that. 
eight, nine. Maybe we should pass that and keep the nine for a consecutive run. Two, one, nine, eight, nine, dragon. Let's pass these three. Okay, flower, dragon, like numbers with eights, five. Let's see. I think I would rather keep this and play a gap hand. We need an eight crack. We got it. Pass. No keepers. Flower. We don't really need it, but I would not pass it. I'd pass one blind. Lap. Okay, we have a hand. We don't need the extra flower. It feels like we don't have enough tiles. We don't. We're missing a tile. Okay, we got to redo this. All right, flower, almost news, dragons, number tiles, no predominant pattern except winds and dragons, and that's what I would do. Winds and dragons. Oh my gosh, we got a pair of twos. Pair of twos, flowers, pair of twos. I would reassess, build around the multiple. I don't usually pass two wins, but we need help because we only have two number tiles really to work around. Here's another one. So now we can pick the offsuit tile to keep here and pass. Well, we, don't, we can keep the dragons, let's pass those. No keepers, but this would be very risky to pass. I think I would give up a dragon there. Flower. Now I don't typically pass like numbers I'd give up one of the dragons, maybe pass nine red. Flower, four flowers, pass those. White dragon, I would pass two in the optional. Dragons, we got dragons. I would play like numbers with twos and six flowers. Or isn't there a four flower 2022 hand? Maybe we could do a 2022. Keep one of those. Discard those. Look at all those flowers. There is that third hand down under the year. Probably like numbers with twos and six flowers. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write sprint two and what you would do. Okay, the only multiple we have is with the north. I would hold wins. North, south, I would keep any run potential. So these can go away. Let's see, one, one, six, nine, right there. Dragon, there's the concealed hand. Let's pass those three. East, we have news. Let's do seven, one, two. No keepers, break up that one. Well, yeah, we could do it like this. 
no keepers. Maybe keep the two for a year hand since we have tiles. Let's see, three, one, three, eight. No keepers, there's a two though. Let's pass those three. No keepers. All right, I would probably play the news concealed hand. Maybe keep the twos for a year hand with news as, a, as an option. So three discards is not too bad. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with sprint three. Let's see how things went with time. You can simplify making decisions by building around multiples. Identify the multiples, gather as many tiles as you can to support them, and play a category that would use most of your tiles supporting the multiples. It really makes for quick decision making. If you have a set of tiles at home, give the exercise a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.